Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA The Principal Painter, and today I have a Diamond Art Club sneak peek. Those of you that have followed me for any length of time know that a few months ago, I unboxed a painting called Spirits by this artist I really didn't know about. I called her Dakota Dadweiler, which is totally wrong to pronounce her name. Her name is pronounced Dateweiler, for those of you wondering. And ever since then, I have gotten to know Dakota, um, put on Dakota Thon, um, and it's just been a crazy, wonderful ride. I am very blessed to call this woman a dear friend, but I hadn't gotten any Dakota Dateweilers to sneak peek since Spirits. Well, a couple weeks ago, got a message from Diamond Art Club, would you like this one to sneak peek? And I nearly drove off the road. I got a Dakota, yes! <sighs> so excited. We are unboxing this one on my dining room table. I'm already with my Mermaid Squad t-shirt on. Um, I bet you can guess the one. Uh, Diamond Art Club has already uh, put this out on uh, their Facebook page, so I can't wait to show it to you. Uh, it is Wave Mermaid by Dakota Dateweiler. So let's head to the dining room table and I'll show it to you. I am so excited. See you at the table. And we are at the dining room table at the Painter household. As I said, I am very excited to be sneak peeking Wave Mermaid by none other than my girl, Dakota Dateweiler. Um, as you can see from the box, um, Diamond Art Club kits always come in this beautiful holographic box. You can tell from the uh, blue uh, blue branding. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm nervous. I am so nervous. I want to do this justice. Um, from the blue branding on it, it is a square diamond painting, blue stripe, blue square. Uh, you know the diamond shape is uh, a square. It is um, a 55.8 by 70.7 .7 centimeter, and you've got this beautiful thumbnail. I love this one. It's absolutely gorgeous, so let's get in this box, and I will show you what we've got. Uh, the box does have on the back directions on how to diamond paint, tips and tricks, and the like. What you get in your box. You get your canvas with your drills rolled up in it. You get a uh, logbook sticker. You can peel this off and put it in a logbook. You can make it into a cover mind or whatnot. It's got all of the information uh, on it that you need. I always put these in my logbooks um, and it's very helpful, so it's it's a great deal. You've got a toolkit. Let's see what we've got. These are standard toolkits that come um, in uh, all Diamond Art Club kits. You get everything you need in order to diamond paint. All right, I'm gonna separate out this stuff. Uh, it does come in a reusable and recyclable bag. Uh, these are very nice, heavy bags. Okay, so I'm going to, I always do the similarities and differences. It, you will get all of these materials in all of your toolkits, uh, but some differ just a little bit. In all of your toolkits, you do get uh, two multi-placers that will go on your pen. I will explain what those do in just a moment. You get a four-placer and a seven-placer in case you want to put more than one diamond down at the same time. You get a container of Diamond Art Club's famous heart-shaped wax. There are two pads of wax, more than enough uh, to complete your project. There is plastic on the top and the bottom. Peel the plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen. The container helps the wax from drying out and you also get a boat with a removable stopper uh, and a funnel to easily get your diamonds in and out of your tray. All right, differences. And also, I'm sorry, all your kits come with a bag of baggies for either kitting up or kitting down to store extra drills. All right, you do get all of these materials, like I said, in every single kit, except for your tweezers. Your tweezers only come in square kits, meaning if the drill shape is square, you will get a pair of branded Diamond Art Club tweezers. They are the pointy stabby kind. Keep the sheath on and do not poke your eyeball out. The round kits do not come with the tweezers. All right, in all of your kits, you do get a cover minder, but your cover minders will differ. Mine is a beautiful rose. Oh my gosh. Um, these roses all come in all different colors. I've not gotten one of these mint green roses. These are beautiful. What a cover minder is, when I unroll this canvas, there will be a plastic uh, uh, 
plastic sheet on the top of the canvas to protect the stickiness. Uh, you peel that plastic back. Uh, there are two magnets on this cover minder. You take one of the magnets off, slide it under your painting. You put the cover minder, when you peel your plastic back on the top of your painting, the magnets magnetize together and hold your plastic back so it's not flippy floppying around. Uh, they have a variety of these beautiful cover minders in all of your Diamond Art Club kits. Some are roses, I got tulips, you get macarons, all kinds of cover minders. Uh, in addition, you also get a diamond painting pen and a squishy. The color on these diamond painting pens will vary. Your squishy goes on your pen. I'm not going to fight with it. I always do. Ah, hey, write this down. I think this is the first time in a while that I've gotten a squishy on there without too much trouble. Um, this is your diamond painting pen. Uh, I explained uh, the multi-placers that come in all of your kits. The color of your pen and squishy will vary. You stick those multi-placers on the opposite end of your pen, depending on how many diamonds you want to place down at once. Your single placer will put one uh, drill down at a time. Your multi-placers uh, will put more than one drill down. And you get a roll of washi tape in all of your kits, but the pattern on these will differ. This is a beautiful watercolor rose pattern. You do get a good bit of it. Washi tape, you can put it, oh, hell, <laughs> hello, as I'm throwing the washi tape across the table, woo woo, uh, little bonus there. Um, <laughs> you can put it around the perimeter of your diamond painting uh, to um, keep the stickiness uh, from your ar arm going in the stickiness, or you can divide up your diamond painting to make the diamond painting less daunting. You do get a good bit of it. It is a little bit lighter weight than painter's tape, um, if uh, I can make that comparison there. All right, so let's get into this and I will show you what else you get. So like I said, um, it is so nice that I have gotten to know Dakota Dateweiler personally. Uh, I consider her a dear friend. She's just one of those people with a beautiful soul. She's a beautiful person, first of all, inside and out. But she's just got a beautiful soul and she is so humble. She does not realize what a rock star she is. And it's just, she, she still can't believe that people love her as much as they do in the diamond painting world, which just, again, makes her just a, an amazing, even more amazing person to me. Okay. This is a vertical diamond painting. Um, the back of these paintings are all very buttery. Uh, you just don't get any better than a diamond art club canvas. They flatten out. I do roll them back. Um, they uh, do have a scalloped and surged edge to prevent fraying. You can roll this canvas back again because it is poured glue. Uh, you can tell if it's poured glue or not by the clear cover on it. If it does not have a clear cover, do not do this or you may damage your canvas. But because this is poured glue, I'm rolling it back uh, for the sake of time. Again, you don't have to. These are all self-flattening canvases. They are called, uh, the material that is used to make these canvases is called tarpaulin, uh, and they are just amazing. So I can roll it back and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. This is gonna hang out in my lap, but not for very long, because I'm dying to see this. I got this box and I'm just sitting there going, I wanna open it so bad. Okay, what else do you get? Rolled up in your canvas, you get your drills. It also has the name of the canvas in case you store your drills separately from your canvas so you can re reunite them easily. Wave Mermaid. Look at all of these blues. Amazing. Uh, like I said, the diamond shape is square. We will go through these drills. Um, you also get an information uh, pamphlet with a thank you for your purchase from Angie, the founder of Diamond Art Club. Tips and tricks and the like, what's included. QR codes that will take you one to a how-to on how to diamond paint and the second to the VIP Facebook group uh, for lots of good information. So make sure you scan those two QR codes uh, to help you out. There is a coupon code. Coupon codes are everywhere on Diamond Art Club uh, kits. This is a thank you 10 for 10% off your next purchase. And on the back, two, QR, two more QR codes, one for an Apple or an Android device um, that will take you to the Diamond Art Club app. Uh, I do have the app on my phone. I love it, use it very often. And when you download the app for the first time, you can get 20% off your first purchase through the app, whether you are a current or new customer. So that's awesome. Okay, Kara, what time? What time do these paintings release? Um, there are lots of really uh, great paintings coming out this weekend. Of course, I think mine is the greatest. Just kidding. <laughs> lots of great paintings coming out this weekend for you to choose from. Um, 
for Diamond and Ruby members, which are tiers of Diamond Art Club. Those come out at nine o'clock Pacific and 11 o'clock Central. Uh, Diamond and Ruby are tiers that you get to through a certain number of purchases through Diamond Art Club, but have no fear. 30 minutes later, if you are not a Diamond or Ruby member through Diamond Art Club, there is a general release at 9.30 Pacific, 11.30 uh, Central and uh, they do hold some stock back so everyone has an equal chance to grab this and guys if you want this one this image is amazing her mermaids have gone so so fast and this is just a very unique image i did speak to her about kind of the meaning behind this image kind of told her what i thought and she told me what she thought so i'll i'll let you know about that this entire sheet is a sticker sheet uh, it's got the title, Wave Mermaid, Artist Dakota Dateweiler. You can put your start and end date. This beautiful, large image. Look at her. She just looks like she's sleeping and being lulled to sleep by the waves. Down at the bottom, you have your diamond-shaped square, your dimensions, 55.8 by 70.7 .7 centimeters. And all of these are individual stickers on this side uh, that you can, when you're kidding up, if you use uh, a variety of containers, you can stick these on your containers. These go on and stay very well. Not only that, when you are ready to de-kit, they come off very well. All right, so on these stickers, you see this first column in pink. That tells you how many colors you're gonna have. You're gonna have 59 colors in this particular kit. You also um, have a center column that are going to be your symbols that you match these drills up with to put on your uh, canvas. And the third column are your DMC codes. Um, any DMC code under the number 150 is called an AB drill. I will talk to you about what an AB drill is momentarily. You have one AB in this kit. It is 141, very popular AB color in Diamond Art Club. You got a lot of water and waves crashing, so I'm certain that um, that particular drill is gonna be used to highlight those waves. And then if you scan down to the very bottom of this sticker sheet, these two have Z in front of them that notes it is a fairy dust diamond. So you're going to get two fairy dust diamonds. I will explain what those are and the difference between an AB and a fairy dust. So you got one AB and two fairy dust diamonds. Ooh, so excited. All right. Are you ready? I never thought I was going to get another one to unbox. Oh, this is so thrilling, guys. I am just beyond excited. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just very surreal for me. I'm sorry. I'm ushing and gushing and fangirling all over the place. You guys know how much I adore Dakota Dateweiler and her work. And here she is, Wave Mermaid. Oh, she's absolutely beautiful. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about this piece. When I talked to Dakota, I talked to her today and I kind of talked about my interpretation of this piece and that's the beauty of art is you see a piece of art and you may be thinking something totally different than I was thinking. I was thinking two different things and one actually matched what Dakota was thinking when she painted this. Um, I was thinking, okay, so you have this beautiful sleeping mermaid or she looks to be sleeping in the middle of all these waves crashing around her. And I told Dakota, I am not, I hate conflict. I hate it. I hate drama. I hate conflict. I, I do my best to just avoid it totally. And I told her whenever conflict arises, I just want to climb in my bed and throw the covers over my head and just hide from it. So at first blush, I looked at this and thought, she's sleeping in the middle of all these waves crashing around her. She's like, maybe if I just go to sleep, all this will just go away. And then I looked at it again and I thought, well, it could be that, or it could be she is part of the ocean and the ocean is part of her. So you have this beautiful hair, you know, she's got turquoises and all different shades of blue in her hair. And you see her hair kind of swirling around her and her hair becomes the waves and the waves are uh, becoming a part of her. Um, and that's kind of what Dakota was thinking when she finished this piece was, She's one with the ocean, the ocean is one with her. Um, I just loved it. And of course, guys, as a self-proclaimed parrot head, our friend, Mr. Jimmy Buffett passed this week and I was thinking, 
he must be smiling down at this piece and loving it because he was part of the ocean and the ocean was part of him. So I thought about him too. Just, you know, again, art makes you think of so many different things. I love this piece. The rendering is amazing. If you are a confetti person, this is your painting. There's a lot of confetti in it. Now, I'm not going blind with the confetti. Um, I will say, um, working on this piece, I will tell you, um, when I look at it and I'm, I'm thinking about what it's gonna be like to work on it, I call this a confetti explosion, meaning like she's got a lot of confetti over here, but there's a lot of that 141, that white. So yes, it'll be a lot of single placing, but there's a lot of that white in one area and there's a lot of that going on in this painting. So yes, there's confetti, but um, though you may be single placing, you won't have to change colors like every five seconds. Um, there's enough of the same color in an area where you can single place and uh, make some progress. I hope I'm making sense with that, but I just love her. And with the detail in this picture and um, the waves and all of the different um, tones of the water, you're gonna have to have some confetti to get to convey that and convey that depth in the painting. Will there be opportunities to bling this thing up? Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, I'm pulling back the plastic and this is where your cover minder comes in. You put your cover minder on the top magnet on the bottom and it will hold this plastic back. All this, this plastic is staying back pretty well. Very sticky canvas as always uh, for the non-believers. Marlon, can you pan them in to this drill field? It is always crystal, crystal clear, dark symbol, dark symbols on light colors, light symbols on dark colors. It's not gonna be a problem in the world. It never is with a Diamond Art Club canvas. Um, cannot say enough. Taking you on a tour of this canvas, you have what's called schematics or keys on your bottom right and upper left um, of the canvas. So if you're working at the top, you've got, you can easily see uh, wherever you're working, the top of this canvas is branded. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. At the bottom, you have got some information as well, which makes it very helpful. Um, you've got uh, your thumbnail of this beautiful image. You've got the title, Wave Mermaid. You've got 55.8 by 70.7 .7 centimeters. You have uh, Dakota Dateweiler. Uh, there is also a symbol in front of Dakota Dateweiler's name. Is Dakota Dateweiler legally licensed through Diamond Art Club? You bet she is. Meaning Dakota has given permission for her art to be used and is being compensated by Diamond Art Club. That is something that should be very special to all of us. In the center of the bottom has all of Diamond Art Club's social media information, their Facebook and Instagram. As you're working on whatever piece you're working on from Diamond Art Club, they love if you tag them. Um, tag them on Facebook, tag them on Instagram. Uh, they love to see your progress. They work really hard producing these canvases, beautiful canvases for us. And um, show them your work. Um, you should be proud of it. Uh, and also in the bottom right, there is a lifetime guarantee, uh, meaning if something goes wrong with your canvas or drills, Diamond Art Club will make it right. So, oh, it is just, this is spectacular. I love it. Um, I always say it's very hard to render faces, but Diamond Art Club always knocks it out of the park. Um, and when I say rendering, I know there are a lot of newbies in uh, the diamond painting world. Rendering means when you look at the original piece of art, you want your diamond painting canvas to look like the original. And it, it really, really does especially when you get drills put down on it. I just, I could not be more happy with this image. Of course, I'm partial, I know, but oh, she's gorgeous. All right, let's flip her over and we will get into the drills. These are always packaged very nicely into trains. I always mess them up. I always try to get them back in the packaging as best I can. All right, we're going to have a lot of blue in this. We have a little baby train to Georgia. Of course, I'm upside down. Uh, you got 828 and uh, 950. I'm certain that's either going in the water or her hair, and that's going in her skin for sure. All right. First long train to Georgia. Let's see what we get. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I keep getting stuff upside down. All right. You got 938, 
415, two bags of it. These drills are absolutely perfectly flat back, not seeing any trash or anything. 3809, look at these beautiful turquoises. You gotta know that's going in her hair in the water. 597, two bags of it. 336, that is a dark, dark navy blue. All right, here we go. Ding, ding, ding. This is not an AB. This is a fairy dust diamond. Fairy dust diamonds are different from AB diamonds. Um, these look like they have a very light sprinkling of what Diamond Art Club calls fairy dust, or most people are calling fairy dust now. A very fine glitter or mica powder sprinkled on the top of these drills that make them sparkle and shine a little bit more, but not as overtly as AB drills. Uh, I've got uh, your AB drills in this chain too, so I'll compare them in just a moment. But those, you got two big bags of fairy dust drills, which is really exciting. Whenever you get these specialty drills, if you get a lot of them, I know I always get excited. Okay, here we go. 823, 3810, two bags of 803, another dark country blue, 322, two bags of it, 157, 156, beautiful lavender. All right. Here is your second, I'm sorry, I thought these were ABs. They, these are your second fairy dust diamond. Same thing in the white, just looks like there is a, just a little sprinkling. Can we get them in so they can see it? Just a little sprinkling of um, glitter or a fine glitter or mica powder. So that's your second fairy dust. All right, and I'm glad this is a white color because we can compare it to the AB drill that's coming up. I'm sorry, I thought these were ABs, they are fairy dust. All right, moving along, moving along. Stick with me, stick with me. All right, 3807, 3772, 939, 632, 3604, 407. Oh, that's a really pretty dark turquoise, 3808, 779, 310. Not much of it, it's in a medium bag, wow. Okay, 951, 930. More purples in this than I realized. Do you guys ever unbox a diamond painting and think, oh, it's gonna be totally blue or totally red, and then you find these all these other colors. That's kind of cool. 792, 501, 935, 158, 502, 931, 934. That's a dark, dark, like olive green. Interesting. 932 and 500, another dark green. All right. And I believe this is the last train to Georgia, and I wanna make sure that I'm keeping these fairy dusts out so I can compare them to the ABs that are coming up. All right, you got 3825, two bags of it. 334, two bags of it. Ding, 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 ring your AB bell. Oh my Lanta, four bags of 141. Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on these drills that capture facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around it and just makes them all together now shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer just a little bit more. All right, and now I'm going to pull. This is not the same color. It's interesting because you, you know, again, you think you see a color. This is a very, this, uh, the Z762 looks to be a very light gray, but. When you hold them up, can I see it now? When you hold them up against each other, you can see this coating on this AB drill is much more overt and kind of in your face. And this is a lot more subtle. Uh, to have these together, again, adds depth to the painting. And um, these guys are put, uh, these types of drills are put where light naturally hits or highlight naturally hits on objects or faces, that kind of thing. So that's where those ABs are gonna go, and I'll show you where, where they're gonna go in a minute. So that is the difference between your AB and your fairy dust. All right, where was I? Three, four, count them four big bags of 141. We are gonna have so much fun with this AB placement. I know that's going in those cresting waves. All right, 334, two bags of it. Uh, 3325, two bags, and those are all of your colors. And I'm gonna flip her back over and we're gonna see where these ABs and fairy dust drills go. And of course, the bag is going on the floor. It would not be a Kara video without things falling on the floor. All right, so your AB, which is that white, which is this one, 141, the one that you've got four bags of, it is all 
over the place. The symbol on that is a dot, a black dot, and the white, it is all in these waves, sprinkled all throughout here. That's why you've got so many bags of it. Anywhere that you see white, you're gonna have the fairy dust. It's highlighting her hair up at the top. All of this up here has it all sprinkled throughout. All over here has it all sprinkled throughout, and it is especially prevalent all in here. So you're gonna have a lot, a lot, a lot in, um, in those waves and highlighting her hair. Also, the water that's uh, splashing over her skin has it all in here as well. All right, your two fairy dust. Okay, the first fairy dust is that turquoise fairy dust, um, the Z598, uh, which is uh, this beautiful turquoisey color. That is a plus symbol. Your plus symbol is also very prevalent. It's that light turquoise in this water. All of this lighter turquoise is gonna be that plus symbol. We're gonna get a lot of that fairy dust and it's gonna come up right up against that AB, like I said, for depth. So you're gonna get two levels of sparkle here, which is amazing. All of the light turquoise in her hair, you're gonna have a ton of it in her hair. All of this light turquoise, anywhere you see it in her hair is gonna be that fairy dust. That is going to be beautiful. You also are gonna have some in the water highlighting her hair. It is hard, it's interesting. It's hard to see where she begins and the water ends. And um, I think that's the point of this entire painting. But um, it's just interesting to look at. Uh, also, your plus symbol is gonna be over here. All right, um, your fairy dust, your, uh, again, it's got a little, a little bit of a gray tone in it. Z762 is going to be a minus sign. All right, your minus sign, this water is gonna sparkle and shine like no other. There is um, a very light gray symbol with your minus sign. It's all sprinkled throughout here. And again, it's coming up against this white AB, which is gonna add different depths to the sparkle. So that's all, the, the minus sign is all in here. Uh, it's all in the top, highlighting her hair. Remember I said fairy dust and ABs will go where light hits or a natural highlight happens. Um, it's all in here in this water, cresting over here. It is all up here in, uh, in addition to the white AB. Um, let's see, yep, the top of her hair has it as well. So her hair and these waves are going to sparkle and shine like no other. You got a lot of it up here in this top right-hand corner as well. So you are going to get a lot of shimmer and shine in this painting. And again, it's a Dakota, so we gotta add some sparkle and shine. You know it, right? All right, guys, that is what I have for you. I. Oh, I just feel so lucky that um, I got this one to sneak peek for you. As you all know, I am such a Dakota Dateweiler fan, and um, it's been a thrill for me to be able to share this with you. Marlon, will you take us on a pan over this canvas? I just love it. I just, uh, and... As you know, she's uh, Dakota has had a mermaid series. We had Glass Mermaid, we had Dreaming of Being Human, we now have this one, Wave Mermaid. I know she has several other mermaids uh, that she has done. Uh, I do have both of her coffee table books that um, I purchased uh, through her Etsy shop, and she has several more mermaids, so we'll see if any more come out. Um, I just cannot get enough of her her art. It's just, she's just got a God-given talent, and um, uh, I'm just so happy to be able to bring this to you and spotlight it. So, tomorrow morning, make sure you set your alarms. Again, 9 o'clock Pacific, 11 o'clock Central for Diamond and Ruby members, 9.30 Pacific, 11 o'clock, or 11.30 Central for general release, and you guys are going to want to grab this. I'm telling you, it's going to go quick based on the reactions that I'm seeing on social media. People are loving this one. It's different, it's beautiful. And again, she's just part of the ocean. I just love it. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. And I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.